The prophecies of the Nornir are as clear as daylight. The Aesir are doomed. All Asgard is doomed. Repeat the last passage. Brothers will fight one another and kill one another. The home of the gods turns red with gore. It will be an age of storms. An age of wolves. Not this. Further along. The foretelling of a wolf. A great beast. The wolf Fenrir howls terribly before the gates to hell. The beast will break its bonds and run. And my part? What about me? Then comes the second great sorrow. When the Harvey goes to fight the wolf. And falls to Fenrir. And falls to Fenrir. It's there, you see. You have foretold my death. Your Harvey will die. We speak what we see. We know your fate. Your destiny. Have you gleaned enough, O oh wise one? Fate governs all humankind, but I am the defier of death. I am not bound by these forces. All threads are measured. Everything dies. Even ancient Ymir, whose fertile carcass gave birth to the Nine Worlds. I am no string to be plucked or tied. I am the High One, the Lord of Ecstasy, the enemy of the Wolf. I am eternal. Riddled words only cloud my thoughts. A storm is brewing. Not in the clouds, but down below. Does our final battle draw near? Is this how Ragnarok begins? Who is balls? We are as guardians. We don't skulk around like elves. We fight! We are fighting for our homes, for our people. But some problems can't be solved with the hard end of a hammer. Name one. Harvey, break our stalemate. What is this? Another invasion? Warriors from Jotunheim. They attack from all fronts. While we sit on our trembling hands and scratch our bums. Not so, Thor. Many Aesir have been sent to the four corners of Asgard, leaving we four to defend the Great Hall. Harvey, lend me a score of your warriors and I will lead them into Jotunheim myself. We cannot afford such a loss. The Ain Hariar must hold back to defend our city. I would bring them here, to hold the Great Hall itself. This invasion is too large to spread ourselves around. All this prattle solves nothing. Battle or death! Silence, all of you. We will take the fight to the enemy before they cross the Bifrost. Well said, Ravenfeeder. Name those who may fight beside you. I need only one. You, Tyr, Lord of Justice. We'll gather our forces and scatter the enemy like grains. <clears throat> yes, I will fight as a thresher through a field of wheat, mad one. The rest of you, stay back to protect the Great Hall. Were any creatures among the Jotnar? Drago, trolls, or wolves? What troubles you, Havi? Does your far sight tell you something? More invaders! They gather at the Bifrost Bridge! Where's Loki? He should be guarding that door! Warn the others. The fight begins. I'm with you, Avi. Let's deal out some punishment. Loki was charged with guarding this gate, and yet it was left open. Harvey, I found this one lurking in the shade, shying from battle. Shall I extract some teeth to get him talking? Or pluck out an eye? You were told to guard this portal, Loki. What happened? 
The portal opened, and these soldiers came bleeding through. So I sent warning straight away. And I captured this one, the soggy jowled sheep herder. <laughs> what is your name, stranger? I am called the Builder by most. He wants your name, not your trade. If I have another name, it's not within my memory. Builder it's been for as long as I've been building things. Do you come from Jotunheim? I do. Or I did. That is to say, I passed through. But I am not of that place, which pleases me well, for I hated it. Had you any dealings there? As a builder, yes. For a time. But they took a dislike to my methods, which are, shall I say, magical in nature. Harvey, when someone gifts you a horse, you ride it. I put a bridle on this one. Is that right, Builder? Are you a gift horse? Or a secret curse? Neither, Iwan. I am only a tool. One with hopes to be well used. This portal has been a source of misery for some time. I want it sealed. With respect, this is not the only way the Jotnar can enter Asgard. May I propose a more encompassing solution? Quite a coincidence that you came when you did, at the tail end of a brutal attack. That I came when I did was by design. I have been among your enemies for so long, I know how they hunger for your demise. If you doubt me, I could offer a demonstration. A demonstration, yes. And if he fails to impress, we hoist his skin as a sail. I'll accept these terms, with the last condition. I would need water from your well of Urth. What do you know of our sacred well? It's a place of great power and vital magic, a source of spirit. It's the water there that will power your shield. I'll collect the water, Harvey. Keep this one clear of our sacred sites. Loki, halt! I will go to the well. You must find this builder clearing for his display. No, no. It's no trouble, Harvey. The damp and the dark appeal to me. Go with the builder, then return to the Great Hall with news of our next step. As you command. Oh, Scotty! <laughs> I cursed the day you were seized with lust for my perfect legs. Go back to your frigid mountains. The sea is my mistress. Njorva, your drunken laments ripple through Asgard. What has brought you to this state? I have a beautiful uh, <clears throat> beach home in Neutun. The most perfect place in all Asgard. Uh, but is it enough to make Skadi happy? <laughs> no. She wants us to freeze up in the fucking mountains. She is Jotun. You should have known this before you married her. She chose me. Can I help it that I have such beautiful feet? You cannot keep this up. Your wailing will summon a sea storm. I care not. I have mead enough to keep me warm till... till Dilskadi and... Her clan return to their frigid homeland. Maybe they will, but not before plundering the vast riches from your beautiful home. I had not thought of that. By Emir's balls, I must return to shore. Bring me a boat. I still have my pride. 
I refuse to swim like a fish. Fisher, fisherman. Scotty, Scotty. Her heart is as cold as her mountain peaks. Having a Jotun for a wife cannot be easy. The only time she ever really smiled was when that goat nearly ripped Loki's balls off. I remember thinking, that one is cruel and magnificent. But the pleasure was not worth the pain. And now I have her whole, whole cursed clan to deal with. I know a rune that will dull the edges of their weapons. Only if it will blunt her tongue. I hope you find peace, noble Njorda. A bad match can be troublesome, but not worse than having nothing to love. My home at Noatun will bring me pleasure enough. But what about you, wily one? What do you love? Knowledge, Sea King and the pursuit of it. Untangling mysteries, uncovering lore. That is what feeds me. Then from what I know of the world and all the realms, you will never go hungry. Good luck to you. Greybeard, I see you there. Thor, why do you call? A challenge! Will you face me in flighting? I will accept your challenge and teach you a lesson through humiliation. Now speak, that I might hear the strength of your convictions. Come and flight me, all father. It's time to perform. I'm the ruler of thunder. You're caught in the storm. Cross the water and meet me. I'll show you my might. Oh, beware what you ask for. I will finish the fight. Not bad, old man. I have slain giants and monsters. I am endlessly brave. I am adored by the masses from warrior to slave. You are the worst of the Aesir, a coddled old clod. I'm as wise as an owl. You're a fool of a god. Hmm. You were lucky. Shame serves as your shadow wherever you roam. Your failure's the point, and I'll hammer it home. You're a simpering greybeard who will soon meet his end. Well, your victory's not what my visions portend. Ugh, better than I thought. Describe defeat for me, Thor. I do not know the taste. This... Setback will only drive me to get better, to get stronger, and I will return and crush you with my wit! Dane, the lifeless one. Why has this noble stag wandered so far from the tree Yggdrasil? The sight of this majestic creature gives my own heart wings. I will follow in the same spirit. Here's Dunyar, the unknowing. Have you eaten your fill of Yggdrasil's green leaves? Durathor as well. Has some disaster befallen the Tree of Life? Or is this simply a gathering of the hallowed herd? Even Dvalin has roused from his thriving slumber. Does this wild run come from a place of joy or fear? And finally, Eikthunir, from whose horns flow the rivers Sid and Vid. So this was the purpose behind their prancing, an offering to their caretaker. Thank you, noble hearts. I will put this gift to good use and remain your steadfast protector. Our work is done, and daylight remains. We have earned a drink for our troubles, I think. What say you, brothers? A drink, aye, to drown our creation in praise. A world fashioned anew from old flesh. Do you recall the size of old Ymir when we began our work? A corpse as tall as the day is long. Spanning the abyss Genunga Gap. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. His pliant flesh, by which we made the fertile soils of the earth. 
and from his blood came oceans and the seas. I remember well. For hills and mountains we piled his bones. From his beard came trees, from his hair the grass. His domed skull we opened, for the blue heavens above, crowded by clouds of brain matter. A new world made from an old life ended. Skull, brothers, I raise my horn to you both. Brother Odin, you are silent. Is something wrong? Is our work not worthy of praise? <laughs> Heavy! You coward! Come fight me! Face me! Heavy! What is it? Harvey, you must let me through! Why? What do you want with the Well of Helheimer? To return to my wife. I don't know. Our village was destroyed. I died with my axe. She did not. Good warrior. Helheimer is no place you want to be. I have given you the honor of joining my warriors. Do not be fickle. If it were your love, you would move the Nine Realms to reunite with her. You care not for us warriors. I challenge you to a duel. If, if I win, fulfill my wish. If you win, send me to hell because I'm an unfit warrior. That is an unfair fight. I cannot win, and you cannot survive. Who am I to trick a trickster? Come, Harvey. Are you a prick and a coward? Grant my wish, you soft cock! Friend, even if we joined, it will not be as you were. Helheimer makes shadows of us all. Your beloved would be ash in your arms. <laughs> I miss her. I miss how she weave flowers in my hair. I miss her crooked front teeth. Then take that memory with you. Hold it as an ember against your chest until Ragnarok. At the end of all things, you will see her. Thank you. You have earned your title as wise. I will fight in your honor. And keep your name clean in my mouth. Harvey, Loki said you'd be here. He told me of the Builder's request, an offer that gives me great worry. Why was this passage blocked? Has someone been here recently? Do you hear me, Harvey? This Builder is a stranger to us. We know not what he intends. I am the King of Asgard, Tyr. Do not question my desire to protect her. Calm, old friend. What's needling you? Strange omens and wild portents. Something evil is stirring. And I cannot always sift the truth from what is false. Farseer, you have sighed beyond us all. I have no doubt you will prevail over what troubles you. I will need your strength in the coming days. To anchor me, to challenge me, to pull me back from the abyss should I teeter. And I will, as long as breath fills me. So I must caution you. Step with care in this place. What happens here may ripple through the fabric of the Nine Worlds. The well is sealed. Someone labors to keep me out. Perhaps it is meant as a warning. I will take it as a challenge. I doubt the Nornir will appreciate our visit. The curious are not welcome here. We will have come and gone before they feel our presence. Tyr? Harvey, stop! 
out of my way, Tyr! I'll suffer no wolves in Asgard. This is a sacred place. Killing here is forbidden. You know this, Javi. Has your mind fled you? You act as though possessed by the spirit of another. I am many in the one, Tyr. The yeller, the spear charger, the masked one. I am Longbeard and Shaki Cloak. I am the wanderer and the striver. And now I am the foe of the wolf. Nothing can change this now. Whatever mind drives you, Javi, you mustn't kill here. Shed no innocent blood in this sacred place. Take this beast. I want it caged. I would have every wolf and dog in Asgard caged if I could. To ease your troubled mind, I will do as you ask. We need you focused for the coming war. Thank you, Courage Bringer, for your steady hand. You entered the well, did you not? And you found what you were looking for? I have a skin of sacred water, yes. Is the Builder preparing his demonstration? How did the well look? Peaceful? Calm? Quiet? What are you driving at, Loki? Driving at? I'm only curious. The well is a wondrous place. I wish I could see it for myself. There was a wolf cup with us, trespassing on sacred ground. But Tyr took care of it. Took care of it? Is he dead? It should never have been born into this world. What have you done? What have you done? Tyr convinced me to spare it, against my better instincts. Ah. Yes. To be sure, intellect should overrule instinct. Tyr knows this well. Now tell me plainly, where is the Builder? In a meadow, not far from here. Your raven may find the way. We found the perfect spot. Did you bring the water? As promised. Wonderful. As it blends with my paint, its magic will power the runes of protection that I hear inscribe. No rune will protect you from my wrath if I catch you playing games. A perfect mix. Wait, what are you doing? Harnessing Hooker magic to bind my spirit to these enchantments. It amplifies the strength. Hooker magic? You learned this from the Jotnar? They practice a form of Hugur magic, but this is my own technique, and it's just about done. Could you lend a hand and bring me a few jars of paint, as many as you can? That's well enough. Exactly the right spot. What now, Builder? Perhaps you should move out of the way. Atop that rock, the view will be much better. There. Will that do? It will indeed. Hold. Hold. And there it is. A thing of beauty. The runes you painted conjured the shield. They did. And if all goes well, it will protect your allies and roast your enemies. Show me. With pleasure. Draw some invaders out from the woods and into the shield. Alive, of course. They must be alive. The barrier will not harm me as I cross? You have my word, Javi. Look at that! Like moths to a flame! Come, you fatherless curse! I am one, and you are many! What have you got to lose? The fools, they run towards their doom. Builder, is your shield supposed to flicker like that? The shield is unstable! Your shield is failing, Builder! They are passing through! I don't understand! They should be dead! Hold them off while I try to restore it! It held. The shield worked wonders. It worked well enough. Impressive, but unstable. Don't fear, my friend. The problem is no more. I have mixed the proper solution. 
With enough materials and the right incentive, I pledged to build a tower so tall it would shield all of Asgard. Materials we can find, that is no issue. What incentive do you mean? Oh, just a trifle. Nothing grand. I only want Freya as my wife and queen. Your coming here was no accident, was it? You desired Freya well before you arrived. If I had announced my desire from the start, you would have hurled me back through that portal. But my offer is honest and my magic is real. For a wife and a queen, I will give you the means to protect your kind. Freya is not mine to barter like a bale of wheat. I will ask her what she desires. Do what you must, but my price stands firm. No Freya, no shield. I have no other needs. And you have no other friends. So tread lightly here. Audumbla, who shot you up in here? You should be free. Nothing less than a god could confine this ancient creature against her will. Was it the trickster? Some other menace? Or do I imagine ill omens where none exist? It was simple thirst that drove this primeval creature. Even the gods are subject to common needs. Slake your thirst, man-maker. May you bring forth new things to amaze us all. Hail, Andrimnir! Off again to hunt the immortal boar? Yes. Yet again, Seirimnir has risen from his bones and escaped my kitchen. It should prove to be a vigorous chase. You never tire of tracking this beast. <laughs> no hunt is more thrilling, and his meat has no equal. Come. Skillfully done, Lord Keeper. Hey, what's that? I will save you the juiciest cut. Come, you brave butchers. Let us prepare a true hero's feast. Warrior, put reins upon your battle lust and ride it. Do not be written by it. I do not know your face, but I know... Yes, think. What are your last memories? I remember the fire fog, filling my throat, wading through a sea of blood and meat, a spear piercing my heart. And then the Valkyries plucked you from the Hellvigor, which leads lesser men to Hell, and brought you here, to glorious Asgard. Asgard? This place is truly like no other. And... Uh, this is not a dream? Am I supposed to fight you? We will fight together, and become part of the greatest army ever assembled. But first, go eat and drink among the gods. Take your place in the Hall of the Slain. Your bravery has earned it. Thor! Stormbringer! I offer you my blade! Odin! Raven Feeder! I give you my life! Look at the size of this beautiful creature. Impressive, isn't it? Clear eyes, strong haunches. It must come from powerful stock. You fools. It could swallow the moon next month if it continues to grow like this. I know your mind, Javi. But this wolf is not your enemy. The signs of Ragnarok, when it comes, will be clear for all to see. Tyr, you roll bones in a game you do not understand. That may be. But I'll assume the risk. If there's a price to be paid, I'll pay it. It's the Jotnar that trouble us now. Have you spoken with the Builder? The Builder, yes. Is Freya nearby? She's teaching Thor about organizing armies. A battle they're both losing. Come along then. You must all hear what I have to say. You spoke with the Builder. You saw his work. I did. And the sacred water? Was it put to use? It was. Your tongue is shorter than your temper today, Harvey. Indeed. Enough of this sorcery, woman. Just point me towards the enemy, and I will handle them. Havi, you look troubled. The Builder gave me a demonstration of his magic. He conjured a shield that killed invaders on contact. 
That would do well for us. But your expression says otherwise. I fear the price is too high. What does he want? You. Me? Does he take us for slavers? I will smash his skull till he shits out brains! Now hold on, everyone. Let's weigh the... Do not finish that thought. What was your reply? I told him it was your choice alone. You didn't refuse him outright? I evaded his question to gain us time. Time to devise a better idea. One that does not involve selling off your queen, I trust. How about I beat on his liver till he builds us a wall for free? Might we consider... I will not barter with my body. That would be a first. Hold on. I've got it. The blunt end of my hammer on his family stones. You are overthinking this, all of you. Give this builder an impossible task, a deadline of, say, nine days. When he forfeits, as he no doubt will, Freya remains free, and we may finish his work as intended. He would be mad or stupid to agree. You underestimate men of intellect, Lord of Storms. The Builder is a proud man. He won't back down from a challenge. I do not like this. Nor do I, but we must act. Loki, bring this offer to the Builder. Your will is my deed, Rune Writer. You grapple with forces outside your control. You were eager to see the deal done. We're acid. She's running. Watch out! Keep your distance! The wolf! <laughs> I've warned you well, and look where it has led! Avi, stop! Stay, your ex! Out of my way, Loki! You swore an oath to never spill my blood. Step aside, and I won't have to. This is my blood! What? He is my son! Bastard! Tyr, you've cared for this wolf. You will be its jailer. Take it to Lingby. Find it there. Make sure it never leaves the island. I can speak with the dwarf Ivaldi. May he find a more permanent solution. Come, boy. You're safe with me. Be kind, Justice Pringle. Loki, there will be a reckoning. Of this, I have no doubt. This rump cloud, he can't just wander about Asgard, poking his pecker into every cavern he pleases. I was only curious, dwarf. I meant no offense. I'm merely a seeker of knowledge. The dwarves give nothing away for free. Apologies for the distraction, Master Blacksmith. I'll leave you to your work. Well, what shall I craft for you today, High One? Bottomless breaches for soiling yourself on the battlefield? What were you and the Builder discussing? Harvey, my gentle jailer. 
You know we dwarves give nothing away for free. If you want your question answered, I'll need something in return. Such as? A hidden fact known only to you, Farseer. That I may share in your secret knowledge of the world. The sun and the moon are pulled by two horses across the day and night skies. Skinfaxir and Chaimfaxir are their names. And each morning's dew is the fallen slopper from Chaimfaxir's foaming mouth. Curious. Thank you, Harvey. So, you asked what that sack of sheep guts was after? He wanted to know how magic affected your hooger. Why would he want to know the effect of magic on my spirit? Not just you, Harvey. The lot of you. Acid and Vanir alike. I told him to shovel his shit somewhere else. Now if that's all you came to know, you can piss off and let me work. I have one more need. Can you forge me an unbreakable chain? Chains are overrated. One weak link and it's worthless. Let me craft a cord that Thor himself could not break. It must be strong enough to bind a powerful beast. I will sluice my sweat into this cord, Harvey. All knowledge I have and skill I own will define it. And what will I get in return? Make good on your claim, and your contract is fulfilled. I smell bait. What's the trap? No trap. No trickery. Forge me this cord, and you shall be free of my service. Hmm. To craft such a cord, I'll need a few impossible ingredients. Name them. I the list there. I have a bear's tendon, a fish's breath, and- A cat's footsteps? And the root of a mountain? How do I find these? How the fuck would I know? The riddles will guide you. I have no patience for riddles, dwarf. Those riddles are as ancient as the world. With lore passed down from Nii and Nidi to Northri and Sudri, Austri and Vestri, Althjover. I understand. I will return shortly. One of Freya's statues. Who put you up here, little cat? <laughs> Nowhere to go but down. I have it. Who knew you could capture a sound? There is the seed in the mountain's rocky grip. Some heat may free it from its shell. I found everything you asked for. How soon can you finish this unbreakable cord? As soon as it wants to be made. You cannot rush this kind of magic. It flows with a speed all its own. Find me as soon as it's ready. By the way, after we spoke of the Hooger, a cousin came by with his own spirit tail. I don't trust coincidence, so this one's free. What did he say? He told me his sister's husband, Borin, drank a mead brewed in Jotunheim, and it sent his Hooger into a goat. The spirit of a dwarf in the body of a goat? <laughs> Stranger still, his sister didn't even notice. Heavy! Don't drag me into this. The tower is nearly finished. Do not fret. The final hours are ticking down. Not fast enough. I feel the jaws of a trap closing upon me. Knowing you are in a trap is the first step to avoiding it. You don't care if I'm married off to this builder, do you? You are the Queen of Asgard, the host of Folkvanger, the shepherd of the slain. Of course I care. Yet you act as if I'm some treasure to be traded about. I was wrong to use you like that. I will confront the builder and pry the truth out of him. A limp apology, but it will suffice for now. Once the Builder is dealt with, turn your spear on Loki. Every chance he had, he dug us deeper into this mess. If Loki is up to something, I will see to it that he is punished. Blood Oath be damned. Not my best work, but it has a certain glow. Now then, where's my queen? You're finished. 
The tower is functional. One rune remains, which I shall inscribe after I am wet. Who helped you complete the work, Builder? You could not have managed so quickly on your own. Our agreement said nothing about outside help. Now, where is Frey? I tire of waiting. Outside help. Interesting choice of words. Hail, Harvey! Hail, Builder! We bring you your bride! Freya, my beloved! Why does she leer so wickedly? Freya is so excited that she has refused food or drink until the marriage is consummated. I'm pleased, but somewhat surprised since this unwilling union was thrust upon her sight unseen. Once she saw this tower, a testament to your strength, she knew you to be a great man indeed. Enough chatter. We have upheld our end of the bargain. Will you finish your work? I'm sorry, but I've never seen such wild eyes. Why does she look so feral? Since hearing of your offer, she has not closed her eyes. She fears what she might miss in the abyss of comforting sleep. This is no dream, my love. It is all quite real. Speak and tell me you agree. Quit stalling and kiss her, Dungmeat! Consummate your betrothal! Yes, a kiss. A brief taste to whet my appetite. <clears throat> Delicious! Your lips are two <laughs> pillows on a bed of rain rose petals. And yours are cold and rough as unpolished stone. What trickery is this? Is something wrong? Her voice! It's hideous! I have been told it has a seductive quality. By a wolf. Treachery! Bring me the real Frey, or my offer is withdrawn! I'll bring myself, if you don't mind. Freya, you don't need to... You have to... next to nothing, Esir. Only this useless monument to your ineptitude. Uh... You've been a good boy, Thor. Don't gamble your winnings. <clears throat> and you, Havi. You tried to avoid responsibility by not making a choice, but that was a choice in itself. And look where it has brought us. We have taken you for granted, it is true. That ends now. Has this sad spectacle been for my sake alone? I've seen better drama on the festering carcass of a dead pig! Finish your work, or suffer. No Freya, no shield. To Helheim with him, Harvey. I know where he keeps his enchanted paint. Show me. Thor, Tyr, watch our guest closely. Freya, I hope we will have words when this is done. Why do you still wear Freya's form? A reminder of who's at stake. Change back. This is disturbing. Where do we go now? I don't know. I didn't say I was watching him every moment. So you do not know where he kept his supplies? They must be nearby. He never left this area. Mostly never. What is it, Harvey? Loki? Did you know this builder before we met him at Heimdall's tower? Did I know him? As in friends? Or know of him? Did you invite him here? I... I did, yes. He rescued my son from Jotunheim, so I agreed to bring him here and help him find work. That's all. 
Make this right, Loki, or the blood oath that binds me is forfeit. For you and your son, is that clear? As a cloudless sky, High One. It appears we've underestimated him. On your advice. Find some way to hinder his efforts, or I will offer you as his price. I live to serve, Raven Feeder. <clears throat> you survived my trap. How disappointing. Invaders from Jotunheim. We slaughtered them all. Buri's Ballsack. Can I kill him now? We do not need this honor cheat. We will complete the tower ourselves. My Hoogr makes it work. I am bound to it through the magic of your realm. You perverted our sacred waters. We have every reason to kill you. Well reasoned. They should call you the god of hindsight, all-knowing after the fact. I will finish the inscription. Builder, you stay with me. You others go. Elhas, for protection. You godless worm, slayer of my kin, oath breaker, spirit taker, I didn't build this tower to keep your enemies out. I built it to keep you in. Is the Jotun dead? And his magic dies with him. Does that worry you, trickster? What are you implying? Were you behind this? You dishonorable truth tangler. What do you know of honor, Freya? You've fed it more men than all the halls in Midgard. You're a fine one to talk of sexual appetites. You fathered a wolf cop. I'll not hear a lecture from the Lord of Petty Rules who stiffens at the thought of laying down the law. And before you threaten to brandish your hammer, Thor, remember... Without it, you'd be no better than a troll. Only twice as stupid. Oh! You festering ball sack swollen with the foulest drippings of Emir's corpse. No oath is worth this abuse. But you won't break it, Harvey. You cannot. All your efforts to evade destiny will only fling you further along its course. If you're not careful, you may be the author of your own destruction. <clears throat> Leave him. He will do little harm while his son remains captive. A mouthful of iron would put a stop to his babbling. What now, wise one? We have returned to the place from which we set out. Ragnarok is coming, and we are no safer. There may be a solution in Jotunheim. Huga magic, they call it. I will travel there to see it for myself. Until I have the final binding, Loki's son must not leave that island. In time, it shall serve as a sanctuary for all wolves. I will watch over him, as one of my own kin. Then I'll leave the realm in your capable hands, my queen. If my own are empty when I return, I will accept destiny with both. Welcome back. Your face is bright, and your eyes seem clearer. Tell me of everything you have seen. I... Uh, I've been to Asgard, the seat of the gods. I saw through Odin's eyes, just as you said. In every vision, I inhabited his form, lived as he once lived. In his body, I was myself. I was carried by his whims. His thoughts were as known to me as my own. We were two, but we existed as one. And what have you learned? More than learned. I felt, I felt everything. His fears and doubts, his loves and passions. Incredible. What else? 
I consorted with Loki, the trickster. We quarreled often, as siblings. But soon our fights grew dark. When he revealed he had sired a wolf cub, my rage was unbound. Because he had hid the truth from you? Yes, because he knew that wolves were not allowed in Asgard. He flaunted my command. Perhaps this was the purpose of your vision. To overcome an inner fear and find forgiveness in your heart. Maybe. But before my vision ended, I was seized by great purpose. I devised a plan, a voyage to Jotunheim. And then I awoke. Interesting. Was there anything else? I heard a prophecy. Warning of Ragnarok, the destruction of the world, the end of all time. And the Nordnir. They warned me of the great wolf Fenrir, and how he hungered for my blood. But there was something else. Hope. I was undaunted by the coming cataclysm. Perhaps this aspect of your vision inspires bravery. Truly, you are touched by the gods. Was there more? There was nothing more. Nothing of great significance. The dream has faded. Eivor, your visions are unlike any I have encountered. Leave me now. I must think on what you have shared.